My dad was Henry Austin Clark Jr. Most people called him Austin. Well, I think first and foremost, he was, he did get an engineering degree uh, in college. He wrote his thesis on the planetary transmission of the Model T Fours. Uh, and when he went into the Navy, uh, I think he'd already uh, bought a couple of cars. He got many of his cars for nothing, like getting them out of junkyards or near, nearly nothing. And um, he, he needed a place to keep them. And so in, in 1948, he, out of a World War II surplus airplane hangar, great big Quonset hut, he, he uh, opened the Long Island Auto Museum. Dad, I think because of his engineering background, appreciated what the car stood for, which was with the simplest possible design, one of the great uh, race cars with a small engine that could take on the cars with engines twice as big and, and uh, leave many of them in the dust. It's not a car for somebody who wants, you know, air conditioning and a hood over their their heads all the time. It's, it exposes you to the elements, but the thrill of being in it is, is, is what really matters with this car. And he felt very strongly it was the finest car produced in, in America. From the first ride, you never forget the car and you can ride in many other cars. They all make interesting noises as they go, but there's, there's none that quite duplicates the thrill of, it's almost like being on horseback in a race because the, the car underneath you is so light and so quick. Everyone I know that has a T-head Mercer that is perfectly restored feels they had one that was really a, a runner and one that has the patina of its age. I mean, this car was restored in the in, in about 1948, and really it hasn't needed much uh, since then other than maintenance type care. Uh, There's a new set of tires, it has, it, 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 the seats finally wore out and, it, and, and that sort of thing, but uh, it, in reality it's working beautifully with, with the same engine and all the, all the uh, steering mechanism and everything else that makes up this car. It's very simple, as you can see. I mean, you can just about see every part of it. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's behaved about the same from the time I first drove it till now, which is really remarkable. It's a bittersweet moment, needless to say. It's, it's increasingly uh, challenging for me as, uh, both to let it go as well as to uh, uh, use it on the roads. And um, you know, fortunately, it, it runs beautifully. It's probably one of the most reliable cars that I've ever heard of, of certainly of that era, but of almost any uh, car that would qualify as a vintage car. And so it is a, it's a car to really enjoy and drive. And, uh, you know, we, we have three children and I can't cut it in three and they're living in different parts of the country. So uh, after meeting with RM Auctions, it, it just appeared like a good time to let somebody else have a chance to enjoy it the way we have. It's a, it's a great car, it's always operated well and I think somebody will have a terrific time with it, just as I have.